Alright, this is 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches on an Adventure, and I'm gonna say right now, it's as good as the first one. That's really all I have to say. People are saying that this is actually one of the good Disney sequels, and they're really right. Uh, I actually, like I said, I just kind of like, I actually like this one a little bit more than the first. There's a lot of good things about it, or there's nothing forced, there's nothing stupid about it. I mean, or it's just very entertaining and very enjoyable to sit through, just like how the first film was. The story is about all the little dog named Patch who has a kid voice, not scamp of having an adult speaking voice for some reason. So, uh, he, uh, basically feels left out of the family, and he f which is pretty typical for a middle child. Uh, so, he's basically left behind from uh, his old home because the, uh, the, the plantation of the Dalmatian is, is about to move away, so Roger... Or uh, set up a new farm. Well, actually, you see the uh, the farm in the in the cartoon show, or uh, or before this film came out. <clears throat> so uh, Pat, so Patch basically goes off, of well, is basically left home. So, well, he journeys around of London, and then on he comes across his favorite hero named, on name uh, what is his name Thunderbolt, voiced by Barry Bostwick. Uh, so while that's going on, light. Oh no no. So that's while that's going on. On his, he and his, um, sorry, so, um, he and his sidekick, like, Little Lightning, like, voiced by, uh, Jason Alexander, who was a Pembroke Corgi, which is my favorite, or which is the most adorable breed of dogs ever, so, um, well, they basically do a TV show, kind of like a Batman and Robin, so, um, so Little Lightning basically, well, yeah, lies to, um, oh, Thunderbolt that, um, uh, that, that later on they're gonna kill off his character. So Thunderbolt has to f figure out a way to get out of this. So, oh, uh, they set up auditions and stuff, and then a little patch comes into the mix. Well, that's, well, that's also going on. Corella DeVille, much like in 102 Dalmatians, which is the other live action 101 Dalmatians movie, we, um, Corella DeVille is on probation. In 102 Dalmatians, she was on probation for, for like, seeing spots, and she can't go anywhere near them. And, uh, in this film, she can't or touch anything furry or something. Or, like, fur coat or whatever. So, um, uh, she sees an art museum, and then she finds out that someone painted a dot. And that person who painted the dot is an artist named Lars, voiced by Martin Short. And so, um, he paints dots for her all the time, and now, oh, she kind of got a little sick of it. So, oh, uh, she basically sets off to find the pap- It's not- To go find the puppies. So, oh, um, oh, so she's basically, sorry, so, uh, she, um, gets, ha, ha, what was it, Horace and Jasper, the two brothers from the first film, oh, and she, she, she bails them out and tells them that she has to go get the puppies again. Right, so, obviously, they steal the 101 Dalmatians. And so, oh, now, um, it's up to Patch and on Thunderbolt to stop them and Little Night Lightning for their evil old plans and stuff. What Corella Deville wants to do is paint the canvas with the um with the uh the Dalmatians instead of making a furry coat or something. And Little Lightning wants to become a lead I mean, wants to be a lead cast of the uh, of his show of a show, like his own show or something. On and take um what's his take the light um Thunderbolt out of the way. So um Oh, uh, yeah. The film is actually funnier. Or it's, well, actually, I gotta see the good stuff. Like I said, the film's really funny. The animation is really good. It's actually a little bit as good as the first film. Well, the animation. And it kind of looks like th it could be released in theaters. It kind of looks like that way. Um, um, the art style is very well done. Even the backgrounds are very well done, too. <clears throat> um, the voice acting is great. Oh, and the story, well, it seems, does seem a bit formulaic like, and stuff, but... Uh, but it's just done very well. It just and it's very well executed. But um, well, the voice acting, like I said, it's really good. Uh, Corella is voiced by uh, Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, then her character gets a lot of good lines. Uh, and Martin Short is really funny too. Hosper and Jasper are, are of course funny too. Oh, the little kid on uh, Patch is really enjoyable, and I like Thunderbolt as well. Oh, and, uh, it's actually pretty cool that they got Jason Alexander 
or who voiced Abi Small from the Latin cartoon and returned Jafar to do the voice of another villain. On oh, and on, oh, it's really cool. So um, <clears throat> I do like the connection between when uh, Patch and and uh, Thunderbolt, like they actually try to go out search for crime, and then they have a, a good camaraderie and stuff. Of and on, oh, uh, there's a really cool, fun climax at the end, which is kind of similar to the first, but does a little bit differently. But it's still fun to look at, though. So, um, um, overall, 101 Dalmatians 2 is just, it's probably is as good as the first one. So, um, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, if you, and if you do want to see something that's on par with the original, I say this is definitely the film for you to check out. So, um, if you have seen it, what did you think? Just comment below, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Stardust, and don't forget to subscribe and share the video, and I'm the Boss Jordan Critic, and I will see you in the next video.